Hey guys, Adam from Atlas Gunworks, talking about feed lip tuning today. So we've got a couple mags here. Um, what to check is on the feed lips. You can do this, it's easier, a lot easier to do without the follower in here, but I can do it with the follower in here most days. So um, front of the feed lips have a certain spec for calibers. I'll put that spec up on TV. This one's just a little bit tighter than we like it in the front and then a little bit tighter than we like in the back. So on a 40 cal, which this gun is, 380 in the back is ideal and 385 in the front. So five with thousands between the two. And what most of them come the opposite of that. So most of them come the front is pinched a little bit. And what happens is, is when this, is, this one's not pinched, but when they're pinched, the bullet starts to sit a little low, it hits the feed ramp instead of headed for the chamber. So opening those up makes a big difference. Um, so this one, we'll fix it real quick. Guys, buy the Dawson mag tuning kit. It's a hundred bucks. These mags are a hundred bucks a piece, but better anyway. It comes with a killer video where Dave pretty much tells you everything in detail. And it comes with a bunch of the tools and the form um, for retuning the lips when they're too wide, which I'll show you how to use in just a second. Getting a little closer there. I think we're going to do it just a little bit wider. Just a little bit of pressure here goes an absolute long way. If you feel them move, you probably don't go really too far. And tuning them out is a lot easier than bringing them back in. So we're right on the nose. I'm going to do one more. If you pull on the front like this, right where I'm at on the front, that will usually take it back with it. So usually all your tuning is going to be up in the front. We're real close to 380 there in the front, probably just under. We're at 380 about in the back, so we're about even, which is a little less than ideal. That time I ran up to it. $379. I'd take that. There's five between the two. Sometimes you can go as big as 10 on those variances, and you can have on the 40 cals up to 390 in the front. It really depends on how your gun's set up. Put these things back together. Make sure your button doesn't catch the mag spring. There we go. Make sure, guys, too, to number your mags so you know which one you had a problem with at the match. So when you put the bullets in, the first one's gonna have a steeper profile than the next one because there's, they're not stacking yet. So when they start to stack, that's what you care about. So it, what mat, the matters that the last one's gonna feed, but it, it matters what the second and the last one look like because from two on, it's pretty much gonna be the same. So I put three in when I'm being lazy and don't wanna load up 20. Um, hopefully you can see this on the video, but that bullet's pointed just below the ramp or just at the bottom of the chamber. And it hits the ramp and pulls, it hits the ramp and pulls. Pretty easy, that works. I'll take that. I, I might go just a little bit wider on that. Um, that one's at, what, 384? I might take that up to 387 if I really want to be picky. But that passed the bench test, so I'll go, we'll go live test it. If it live tests perfect, then, then don't worry about it. They tend, when they have problems, to have with this, what's happened to this one. So if we mic this one in the back, Three eight five, and in the front we're at three ninety. The way to tune them when they've gone too far, and that seems to be when they hit the ground for whatever reason, they tend to bend out, not in. Um, so you come over here. This is the Dawson form lips. We just get a little tap with the last hammer on the front. You don't want to go too far there because you, you really don't want this to be wavy. Hit them where they need to be brought in. So if they need to be brought in the whole thing, you can hit them in the front to the middle and that'll bring the back with it typically. Zero R scales. Three, four. Just under 390. That's in the zone. So we're going to try it. And some of the guns do like them. The bullets pointed up a little bit more than others. So find my... Tester bullets wear out, so make sure you get good ones. We'll run the same three. Feeds, feeds, feeds. Perfect. 
I'll take that. So again, this one will go back out. We'll practice test it and we should be good to go. The key to testing these things is to bench test them, get the specs in line, and then you want to take them out and practice test them. So a lot of guys have mag problems in matches because they bench test them and then they go try to practice or use them in a match. Totally unacceptable. You've got to run these things in practice. If you practice every week, you'll have more problems show up in practice because you're shooting more rounds in practice than you will at the matches. I have this amazing record of breaking stuff the day before a match, tons and tons of the week before a match, um, which is awesome because then you switch to your backup gun or you get your part in and fix whatever the problem is. But um, practice, 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 and test the mags in practice. I run, there's different ways to do it, but these are my practice mags. They're only for dry fire. And then my match mags um, are actually in my range bag. You can see how beat up they are. They got a lot of use on them. Um, I run these in live fire practice and matches. And the only thing I do different is when I'm going to major matches, I, uh, I'll check and often change the, the mag springs. And then I'll change them a week or two weeks before I go. You know, I like to have two practices on them. If there's a problem, it'll show up in the two practices. Um, so that's all you really got to do to tune the feed lips. It's not super difficult. The Dawson Tune Kit helps a ton. We totally recommend buying that. Um, coming up soon, we'll, uh, we'll do a video on the new MBX mags. And we've got a set in 40 and a set in 9. We're going to bench test them. We're going to video test them, tell you maybe if there's some tricks to tuning them. But these are pretty much ready to go out of the box. Um, and they're priced pretty reasonably for what you get. And they're a super nice finish. Um, witness holes at 10 and max. Um, and they've even got them set to show at, here they show at 9 and 20, and then they, they full primer show at, uh, at 10 and 21. And they're super nice quality, the insides are really finished nicely. A lot less time than, than to finish an STI mag, or an S, even the SV tubes take a lot of finishing work. The SVs look nice on the inside, or the outside, but the inside need a bunch of work. And like these are brand new STI tubes, they need work everywhere to look pretty. Um, so for the money, the MBX mag is going to be an, an awesome thing going forward. They've also got a different follower system. So look for that video probably coming next week. And um, hope to see you on the range soon. Take care.